Starting to get a little chilly outside and it won't be long until it gets though really cold. Let's go to meteorologist Davis Nolan to explain what the winter weather forecast looks like for this year. Davis. That's right, Mark. Well, the Climate Prediction Center yesterday came out with their three month forecast for December, January and February, which we consider our winter. Now, right now they have us leaning above normal in temperatures here, sort of the 33 to 40 percent chance. And there's bigger chances it's above normal the further you go from Atlanta southward. Now, as far as precipitation is concerned, they have us in between these areas, which means equal chances of above or below normal precipitation. Now, this year is expected to become a La Nina year. It's neutral right now between El Nino and La Nina, but they think as we get past September into the winter, it's going to become a La Nina. Now, a typical La Nina winter has us wetter than normal, as you can see with this jet stream dipping in, and also warmer than normal. But they're saying this is going to be a very, very weak El Nino. When the El Nino is very weak, it doesn't have as much of an effect on the weather as when it's strong, like a typical El Nino. And I talked to Matt Reagan at the National Weather Service about what he thinks the effect may be and also the uncertainty when the El Nino is weak. With La Nina, what we've seen in the past is a warmer than average uh, winter overall. Now that does not mean you cannot get uh, cold periods in that winter or we cannot get snow, but overall a warmer than average uh, winter would be expected. In this case, this is a weaker La Nina, um, so our confidence in that forecast isn't quite as high. Now, another thing that Matt added was that in a typical La Nina year, we typically have an earlier severe weather season and even a stronger severe weather season, which we really don't want to see. Rather than April and May, he says it could be January through March that you get your real typical severe weather season, and it could be stronger than normal. Now, because it is a weak El Nino, he, or La Nina, I should say, he emphasizes that there's still a lot of uncertainty as far as that's concerned, Mark. All right.